Hey there, my Battleful friends and fans, and look at that, we finally can show some Battleful 1 closed alpha footage because the ban has been lifted on the NDA that we had to sign, so we are now are able to share videos and whatnot about this game, which is really, really awesome. I found out a little bit too late about it, but better late than never. So here we go, I want to show you what the controls are all about, it's kind of like the common Battleful controls where you can choose between default, veteran, lefty, righty, and so on, South Park, legacy, whatever they call it. I usually go with veteran. Those are my favorite. I can't fly inverted, for example, and there's a lot of things that I usually set, uh, but I didn't really set things. I just jumped in right away and then messed with the settings later. Because, you know, like all of us, we always just want to jump in right away and see how things are. are. But in case you're interested here, are all the controls, basic, control scheme, advanced. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that you can actually set. I usually just leave stuff at default. There's very little that I change. But here, especially, you know, vertical fly, uh, or inverted fly and all that stuff that usually I change. But you can definitely change a lot. There's uh, no lack of that. So let's see, this is the server browser and as you can see this looks very familiar, this is just like, you know, every other server browser in Battlefield and as you can see there's not a lot of players in here, there's maybe a couple of matches going on, maybe three different ones and you can choose between Conquest and Domination. I have just played Conquest, Domination is just a smaller scale map, but it's the same map on a smaller scale as we already know. And then you have to, what's new here, you actually have to select the squad and you can see you cannot join any squads that are full, obviously. And then once you are, have done that, you can jump into the map wherever you feel like the action is going on. And then you can also at the same time actually to customize your weapon here and the default is always assault and it always does the mp18 right away so that's the first weapon i play with and it's funny like you see most people run around with the mp18 and i didn't really like that gun so much i didn't think it was so great you can see it here quickly in action i just kind of like jumped in here and I realized oh that's not the gun I wanted so you don't see me uh, use it here a lot. I've, I've played with it a lot but not when I was finally able to record I was kind of we done with this gun. Job. But uh, yeah it's just it, it's, a, it's a handy little gun but it's you know I don't know it's, it's not like the, the best gun I wouldn't say. I'm gonna tell you later on you'll see, see my favorite gun so now we're gonna try a Lewis gun and that's now as is playing as a support so i'm for the first time actually select the class that i want to play as and i really love playing the support i've always loved playing the support because you get those handy trip wires which you can just put anywhere in the rubble and people will always trip over it and they'll never see it and the cool thing about also you know obviously playing the support is that you have always ammo at hand you never run out of ammo and your team will love you for that too so that's a great role to play i have to say though i didn't really like any of those guns that the support has that's the only problem that you know we have like about three guns to choose from in the alpha right now there's a lot more to unlock and maybe there's a lot more a lot better weapons coming up you know once the full game is unlocked but uh, right now I couldn't really fall in love with any other support weapons I mean they're okay as you can see here it's on close range those weapons are really, really good but forget about having to take someone out like far away forget that you just this gun is like all of those guns are like just all over the place and they're extremely hard to control in my opinion I guess it's just a matter of getting used to it but this one is definitely the best of all of the three that you have access to in the alpha. This is the M1901 Benet Marcy. If I say that right, correct me if I say that wrong. I have no idea. It's obviously a French gun from the name, but um, I yeah, I pretty much like it. I played with that gun actually quite a bit. But the only downfall of it is a little bit slow. So if you have someone charge you, it's it's as you can see, it's just 
really, really slow. It feels kind of like a, like a really, really heavy gun, which it probably is. And so if someone comes charging at you really fast, it's, it's kind of hard to, especially with a fast weapon, it's, it's hard to get the kill. That is definitely a fun gun and it feels, feels really, really, you know, heavy and accurate. It has a great sound to it. It just feels right. And I haven't really found anything to complain about the weapons here. They all feel great. And you just really feel like you're like way back in history, like way back then when they had clumsy guns that were not so accurate. And you know, you just feel that. And it, it's really hard to actually go from Battlefield 4 to go to this because it's such a different feeling, extremely different. But a lot of times this actually reminded me of Battlefield 1943, which is one of my absolute favorite Battlefield games. And especially, you know, when I play as a uh, medic, where you can basically just use bolt action rifles, or at least here in the Alpha, and that brings me to the bolt action rifle. And you can see me here play as a medic with the Moon Dragon, which is um, a rifle that was designed by a Mexican artillery officer. It's a bolt action rifle from the 1893 and 1894, and they were the Mexico's first self-loading rifle. So how did this weapon get into World War One? is the question. In 1914, the German Empire actually brought the remainder of the rifles that were produced by SIG that had not been sent to Mexico, which could have been as high as 3,600 rifles uh, into the World War One. and Germans tried to modify the rifles, but their attempts were unsuccessful. And as being a native Swiss, I have to mention that in Switzerland, the Mondragon self-loading rifle was modified for the 7.5 times 55 millimeter Swiss cartridge equipped with a 12 round magazine and a Hülsen Fun Corp, a device to collect the ejected shells. The Mondragon equipped the World War I two-seater aircraft heavily DH and Blériot but was soon replaced by full auto weapons. Ha! I had no clue, you know, that the Swiss actually were involved in this because the Swiss usually try to stay out of wars, which is, you know, what war Swiss are pretty proud of for not getting everyone annoyed in the world or trying to stay neutral. But yeah, back to that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, as you can see, this weapon is just an absolute blast to play. Unfortunately, What's a little bit a disappointment for me is I really don't play like to play the medic, but the medic seems to have the best wep weapons for my taste at least. As you can see now, I'm trying this another one. It's, it's called Sai Ragotti. Sounds like an Italian gun. Let's look into this gun. And by the way, this little truck that you can drive here is amazing. It just goes like through everything, and it, it never gets stuck on anything. It barely ever gets stuck on anything. You just kind of can drive it over rubble and everything and it gets you really really fast from point A to point B or whatnot and I love that to just get fast to another flag because you know sometimes you have to just run through wide open fields which most likely gets you killed and so you're a lot much better off getting one of those quick trucks and so far in this Alpha that's actually the fastest vehicle. All the other ones are pretty slow and sluggish. So let's see how this gun goes here. Oh, I, sorry about that, my bad. I thought that was an enemy. But anyway, um, this gun is actually the first one that you unlock and you just kind of like equipped as a default when you select the medic class. I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that was the very first one I played with. And I like this gun right away from the very beginning. As you can see here, this is what happens uh, quite a bit. Your game just basically freezes up and you're totally hopeless at this point. I was just very, very lucky that that guy didn't come during the freeze. So I was able to get him before he got me. So the Sai Ragotti is uh, also known as the Sai Gas Rifle. It's an early automatic rifle created in the final years of the 19th century by Amerigo Sai Ragotti, an officer in the Italian army. 
the rifle had selective fire capabilities, single shots and bursts and was a gas operated rifle. Available information on this gun is sparse and contradictory. So there's not a lot more information about this and who knows if that gun really was used in World War One or not, but that's, it's kind of cool that they actually, man, I was lucky here, this guy is hiding behind a bed. What was he thinking? That wasn't very smart, but I think he just ran out of bullets or something and I've been in this situation many times, but as you can see, this gun is just absolutely awesome. So I am using this gun for the rest of this video and if you are not interested in, you may just want to get out here and otherwise stick with it and watch the rest of this uh, match. Um, I have just had the most fun with this gun or the most success with this gun and it's, you know, when you play as a medic, I would say it's the best of the three that are available, in my opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. And the game is kind of sluggish here again. It happens a lot. I actually tested it on two different Xboxes, so I don't know if that's an Xbox One issue or if it's just an alpha issue, but it's definitely not something you can complain about because it's an alpha. And you know, besides bugs that are typical for an alpha, I haven't really found anything. I mean, everything works really well. The game loads. You can, you know, select your squad, you can create a squad, you, the, the weapon selections, the weapon customization, everything works as expected. I mean, even the server browser works really, really well. I have not, that was really weird, that guy looked like a puppet. So let's go and revive someone here, shall we? Yeah, that works pretty good too. So everything really, really works as expected. It's amazing. This this alpha is pretty much bug free. There's just a few little things, and those things you sometimes even see in the full game. You know, like freezing issues or that uh, a character behaves kind of weird. That that's not even anything. So I don't even know. They ask us to provide feedback at the end of the alpha. And I haven't found anything yet. I mean, I, I don't know anything that I could say would be nitpicky things. And I don't even know if I should actually even nitpick the game, you know, as a UI designer, I could maybe say, yeah, uh, make the uh, weapon customization a little more pretty instead of just black and white. But I don't know. I think it's actually pretty fitting to make it just very simple because if it looks too fancy, then it doesn't really go with the theme of the game, which is World War One and the beginning of the 1900s. So I think that was all intentionally designed like that to make everything a little simpler. But sometimes simple is not bad, as we have seen in Battlefield 1943, which was hugely successful. And when they asked people why they loved it so much, it was like because they said it was so simple and there was not a lot of customization. It was so easy to do. There was actually no customization for the guns in Battlefield 1943. You just had three guns to pick and choose from. and. It was still a ton of fun so you know but it's not everyone's thing and the other thing that a lot of people may have problems here with you actually die a lot lot faster in battle than in battlefield 4 and battlefield 3. there's not a lot of time to dodge bullets and not a lot of chances you have to dodge bullets and there's a lot of people that may not like that and that's why a lot of people didn't like battlefield hardline is they just died so much and so often and they didn't like that so we'll see what happens with that i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to see you next time take care bye bye